Be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. Hey, everybody. I'm your host, the Grunty Guy. I'm also known as the big cat. My cool cat, to pause up. If you're rocking with the big cat today, we're here to talk about Kyler Murray. Should the Carolina Panthers trade for the Arizona Cardinals disgruntled quarterback? What does this look like? What we have to give up? And how could this impact our future? We'll talk about that and much more. Let's get into it. And here we go. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss the video. Head over to Twitter. Follow me at KeepPounder underscore TV for the latest up-to-date Carolina Panthers content and real-time reaction. Also, if you got a question for the Big Cat, at me at KeepPounder underscore TV. Hashtag Ask the Big Cat. Last but not least, get in that cash app, baby. Show that love. Anything you donate will be greatly appreciated. Now, with that being said, there's been rumors that the Arizona Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray is looking for a way out. This comes on the heels of him having a Instagram scrubbing of his page uh, back in February. Um, he finally addressed that uh, coming up in March here. He, he addressed it at a, at a looks like a charity event. And this is what he had to say about him scrubbing his entire Instagram page. And I quote, if you're a kid my age, you're used to like people taking off. That's just a thing. All right. He also said that honestly, like I, like I said before, I took everything off except one picture. It had nothing to do with the Cardinals or anything like that. Close quote. So this comes on the heel of him having his second Pro Bowl season, y'all. A man's been a breakout budding star, but troubles in the playoff and also late season meltdowns had led to not only him, you know, uh, being painted in a certain light, but the fact that showing that he wants his money over winning. All right. With that being said, you got a highly de decorated receiver in Larry Fitzgerald, longtime Arizona Cardinal, potential Hall of Famer. His father spoke up about this, and I quote, he spoiled, he brings his Oklahoma offense to the NFL team that has to catch up. Great talent, he's never been humble, keep working. This is his father speaking about how spoiled, how arrogant Kyler Murray is, all right? Kind of painting him in a bad light, and I really hate this, man. I really hate this. And it, uh, it continues to go on by this. A fan on Twitter reported that Kyler Murray was one factor Due to the lack of his humility, his personality clashed with Larry Fitzgerald. The reason why Larry Fitzgerald stopped playing. Larry Fitzgerald actually responded by saying, this isn't factual information and have never had a problem with a teammate in 30 years of competitive sport. You know, I, I don't understand, first of all, why Larry Fitzgerald's father decided to speak out on this guy. And had, it puts his son in a bad spot, you know what I mean? That's one thing you don't want to do as a father, to put your son in a bad spot, but... Larry Fitzgerald handled it like a professional that he is, and he dated that information as far as him having a clash with the teammates. Uh, I'm hearing that there was a lot of heat after that playoff meltdown against the car, uh, against the Rams at home, uh, and that and that horrible loss there, man, and, and it caught a lot of hell for it. One thing I will say is Kyler Murray is a special, unique talent. As far as him wanting his money, that should have nothing to do with anybody else you know what i mean he's a back-to-back -back pro bowler 2020 and 2021 nobody should have anything to say about his money i do understand that fan base respect for a guy like him if you're making a pro bowl to be a winner you know what i mean they want to see you win at least one game in the playoff you know what i mean so i do understand that frustration there um and to add more fuel to the fire after the Devonte adam trade to the las vegas raiders his agent eric burkhart he took to Twitter and said, wait, so you're telling me with teams already paid a quarterback, the highest paid wide receiver, two highly paid defense ends, one highest paid offensive tackles, one high, <laughs> highly paid tight end, well paid running backs, <laughs> and then also re-up a quarterback with the highest paid. It's a choice, a choice to try to win or not. Hashtag committed. His agent is definitely a pocket walker. <laughs> He's a pocket watcher, my friend. <laughs> but I can't blame him, man. Like, like I said, my man's been in the pro for three years here. He made two years uh, pro bowl, man. He's been highly decorated here. Also went into offensive rookie of the year in 2019 as well. I mean, what more can you ask for him? Even in the 2020 season with COVID, he ended up still having combined 37 total touchdowns. He didn't even have a full chemistry in 2019 with uh, the newly acquired wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. 
He was still trying to figure out chemistry issues and put up 37 combined touchdowns. You remember that year as a Carolina Panther where we were trying to give Sam Darnold, uh, uh, excuse me, we were trying to give Teddy Bridgewater uh, uh, a pass because um COVID season and he didn't have chemistry and all that. Remember we were giving him a pass? Well, Kyler Murray was out there, no passes, no excuses, still putting up a combined 37 touchdown. So this kid is special, man. He can put up over, he's a career percentage of 669 completion percentage almost in a, uh, almost at 70 percent but a high 60s all right ended up averaging at least 24 touchdowns last year he ended up having 26 in 2020 and he ended up having 20 uh touchdowns in his rookie campaign which got him rookie of the year last year threw for 3700 yards 24 touchdowns gets 10 interceptions now the thing about Kyler murray and, and and what makes him special is the offense they run cliff kingsbury was able to bring in that modified Oklahoma offense, that kind of spread offense, the same offense that got Patrick Mahomes put on the mat at Texas Tech, all right? The thing that I like about it is it pretty much it simplifies playing quarterback for Kyler Murray. At 5'10", he's not that tall. You put him in a shotgun formation, you give him as many passing options as possible, and that pretty much means, what, like three receivers at, at most, uh, up to five, also a tight end, and even put a running back on the field and you can put them in route as well. And you pretty much say, hey, choose choose your best option right there. Could you imagine that coming to Carolina? Could you imagine seeing DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, Sha Smith, Terrence Marshall out there, Christian McCaffrey? I mean, <laughs> do you really want to see five of our receivers and Christian McCaffrey, excuse me, four of our receivers and Christian McCaffrey on the field and say, oh, good luck? <laughs> and Kyler Murray? And, and the thing about it is he's, he's known as an improviser as well. The same stuff that makes Russell Wilson good, the same stuff that makes Patrick Mahomes good is you allow for him not only to go out there and make a one read or a simple read, you also put pressure on that defense. It's hard to single coverage of DJ Moore. You single coverage of DJ Moore, then you leave a, a, a Christian McCaffrey open. If you leave Christian McCaffrey open, then you're going to have to double team a, a, a DJ Moore. I see so 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 hard to like you put pressure. And if you put pressure on that defense like that, Kyler Murray, his height can can be used as a as a deadly tool. You know what I mean? Because he's not that tall, so he can easily get lost behind six foot five, six foot seven linemen, and it puts so much pressure on you to stop him. You know what I mean? He's not necessarily injury prone. He did take care of his body here. He's like a little water bug, y'all. Give him a little protection. Give him a little time. Give him some receivers. He can make plays. I mean, he's, he's just as accurate on the throw as he is in the pocket there. The only thing about him is when you put pressure on him at times, when you really when you really take away his easy options, you know, it can really be, you know, traumatic on him. If you blitz him to death, you know what I mean, if you really get after him, if you make him speed up his time, just like any quarterback, if you make him speed up his mechanics, sometimes he gets sloppy, he can make the bad throw. If you make him speed up his process and mentality, it can really come back to haunt him, you know. So, ultimately, I would want to take a shot on him. I definitely would take a shot on him. It looks like uh, the Arizona Cardinals have until May 2nd to pick up his fifth-year option, all right? According to SportsTrack.com, um, it looks like their fifth-year option would be $29,703,000, all right? But in 2020, he's slated to make a uh, base salary of $965,000, all right? Um, so if you pick up that option right there, you can always restructure it into a long-term deal and spread that money out, offer so much up front. So don't 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 trip off that twenty-nine million. You you essentially get them for nine hundred sixty five nine hundred sixty five thousand dollars in in the twenty twenty two. But again, going in twenty twenty three, you'll have to you know re up on a new deal. All right. With that being said, he's worth it, y'all. I think he's worth it because of the X factor mentality you get. And we need that. The only thing that would make me shy away from this deal is Ben McAdoo and Matt Rule. Um, don't don't punish a guy with an athletic ability such as Kyler Murray. A lot of people say, well, oh, he's a simple read quarterback. He can't he can't run a diverse playbook. And don't punish a guy for what he does well. That's what makes Sean McVay special. That's what makes Kyle Shanahan special. They find guys and they find what they do well in their system and they, they, they allow for them to excel in that. You know what I mean? 
Who cares if a guy pick up a first down with their legs? Who cares if a guy scrambles around and, you know what I mean, finds a wide open receiver on a broken play? Who cares? A first down is a first down. Whether you scramble around off script and make a play or whether you make a play on script. A touchdown is a touchdown. If you break down and you score a touchdown or a touchdown is a touchdown if you make a play um, that was scripted for that touchdown. It doesn't matter. So can he come in here and Ben McAdoo's system and Matt Rule's system and be able to be as free as he was in Arizona? Because he can't run a conventional offense, you know, obviously because of his height, he's only 5'10". And not only that, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't sit, it doesn't suit his skill set. So if we're going to do, if we're going to do this, we're going to have to bring him in and allow for him to be the best him he could be by running that open system, that spread system. Not only is that, I think it'll bring longevity to Christian McCaffrey. A lot of you guys been crying about Christian McCaffrey taking all the hits and, and you know, touches like that. Put him in a spread. You know what I mean? Do you really want to see Christian line up against somebody's nickel receiver? I'm a nickel cornerback. <laughs> I would love someone to put a nickel cornerback on Christian, you know what I mean, if we go five wide, you know what I mean? So I, I definitely think it, it's a positive there for us, man. Uh, when it comes to draft pick-wise, I think a minimally, minimally you're going to have to give up three first-round picks, which, I mean, if you were willing to do it for Deshaun Watson, I don't see why you wouldn't do it for a, a two-time pro bowler here. I don't see why I wouldn't you do that here. And uh, on top of that, I think they're going to have to ask for at least two seconds. So the next three uh, first round picks for us, plus I think they will want a 2023 second round and a 2024 second round. So you're looking about a total of five picks here. Can he be that franchise quarterback? I believe so, man. You know what I mean? I mean, if you guys like Cam Newton, you know what I mean? He wasn't necessarily the most conventional quarterback. You know what I mean? We brought Gene Chizik in. I mean, Gene Chizik's offensive system in under Chinooski, you know what I mean? And we was able to thrive in that offense. So it won't be the first time we would have to modify our offense for a quarterback who wasn't had, who wasn't necessarily conventionally uh, designed to run a, a pro system. So I'm not worried about changing the system for that, but is he worth it? I think so. You're talking about a career completion percentage of 60%, not to mention the X factor you get with his legs, not to mention – all the other stuff he brings when it comes to pressure on the defense. As far as him and him being a locker room cancer, um, I don't believe in that. I don't, I don't believe in that. I, I hate when every time, especially, you know, and I don't want to make it a race thing, but I, I hate when every time a black man wants to get paid or just a, just a man, I say, I say a man in general. Every time a man in general gets paid and the contract's time to come up, it seems like everybody wants to find dirt on him. You know what I mean? Oh, he's not a good teammate. Oh, da, 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 da. I mean, for God's sakes, he's a back-to-back -back pro bowler. You know what I mean? I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing that needs to be said there. You know what I mean? Um, NFL is it's not for long. That's that's what it stands for, not for long league. You know what I mean? And with that being said, you know, you got to get your coins, you know? If this man go ahead and get hurt, get knocked out, the same people speaking out against him or same people that saying they don't, he don't deserve his money, you guys will be nowhere to be found. So get your money, Kyler Murray. Do your thing here. And um, obviously, like I said, his agent is watching. His agent been posting comments on every little move made. And ever since ever since he ended up writing an open letter, his agent ended up writing an open letter uh, about you know his disgruntlement and how he wants to be paid like a top quarterback. Ever since that happened, Tashawn Watson received two hundred and thirty million. Aaron Rodgers received one hundred and fifty six one hundred and fifty million, and Matthew Stafford ended up getting one hundred and twenty million. All right, so again. His agent ended up writing a public letter, letter, you know, saying that he wanted a long-term deal after they lost to the uh, uh, to the Rams, and that's what happened since. So you're watching everybody else get paid that potentially you're better than. I think you could be better than a Matthew Stafford, possibly a better than a Deshaun Watson. I don't know about Aaron Rodgers, but hey, you deserve to kind of be paid in that number. You know what I mean? If we're talking about talent alone. Obviously, you, you know, your, your peers and you know what I mean? And the fans think you are because you're a pro bowler. So, is he worth it, y'all? Five picks? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I mean, the Carolina Panthers, the only thing that seems to be holding us back right now is a quarterback. It looks like we made some good moves on his offensive line. You know what I mean? It looks like we got some defensive pieces that are still young. If we can get this guy with no players, no burns, no chin, just straight picks, five picks. I'll do it, man. I'll do it because we need a quarterback. You know, you guys are going to see real soon here, none of those offensive line pieces, none of those wide receiver pieces, defensive pieces 
mean diddly squat unless you have a quarterback that can throw that thing. I'm your host, the Grunning Guy, also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your paws up. If you're rocking with the Big Cat, how do you guys feel about Kyler Murray? Is he worth the dollar? Is he worth the picks? You guys let me know here, man. And do you believe all the things off the field they're saying about him, troublemaker? I, I don't, man. I think the niggas just want to get paid. Let him get paid. He, he earned it, man. Uh, yeah, it, it, the system he run may be unconventional, but it works for him. Don't knock a man for something he does well, even if it's unconventional, all right? Make sure you guys subscribe, like the channel. Also, head over to Twitter. Follow me at KeepPounder underscore TV for the latest up-to-date Carolina Panther content and real-time reaction. Also, if you got a question, ask the Big Cat. At me at KeepPounder underscore TV. Hashtag ask the Big Cat. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you get that cash app. Show that love. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say, balls up. Keep pounding. Carolina on top. Forever, baby. Thank you guys for watching Keep Pounding TV. I got one quick question. Do. Scream, scream, scream. You. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Fumble. Love the Carolina Panthers. We did it. We did it. We did it. Like I love the Carolina Panthers.